What is up, Wiz Nation, Wizards fans? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Camingo. Now, we, my, our Wizards just came back from the All-Star break, and we lost twice, both in heartbreaking fashion. We, those are two winnable games that we had. We're going to talk about both, both games. We're going to talk about loss of Spurs and the Cavaliers. Let's talk about the Spurs first. We lost to the Spurs in double overtime in probably the highest scoring game of the entire season. Probably one of the best games of the year. We lost 157 to 153. I'm like, was Scott Brooks coaching this game or what? Because there was no D whatsoever. It's like the Wizards of up oh, from the past couple of seasons with Scott Brooks. Giving them 150, score 150, whatever. But that game was a back and forth contest. From first quarter, second quarter, a little bit in the third, and most of the fourth in overtime. Right, Begin the game, KCP got to a hot start. He scored like 11, 10 11 points in the first quarter. But it was like going back and forth. Every time he go up three, the cut to one, and take the lead, and we do the same thing over and over. But that whole first half, it was just no D whatsoever. Especially for the Wizards. Because we, we allowed Spurs to shoot 6 feet from the field. We gave up 19 free, free throw attempts. Because Spurs were in the bonus early. Like, like a 7, 8, eight minute mark. Like, there was no D. It was like 75, 71, whatever at, at the half. In the third quarter, when we were down with 11 points, 12 points, whatever it was, early in the third quarter, it looked like Spurs are going to... They're going to blow out of the water. But back, Ken was, it was, they showed no quit. We trying to came back because we forced, like, what, seven, eight turnovers in, in that uh third period. That's what, that's what got us back in the, ga- in the game. And, but that's why, uh you know what I mean? But the fourth quarter, it's about fourth quarter now. It was, like I said, back and forth, back and forth. But who cares in the fourth quarter? When in doubt, when in doubt. Clutch Coos comes through. Like, he hit some big-time shots. It, either either we cut the lead or, or, or gain the lead. Okay? I think we were up, uh, what, what? Uh, it was 118-115. Yeah, Coos hit, hit, hit three. We went ice cold, and the Spurs go go on, on, on a run and get this. And they went on, I think they went on, a, uh, like, a 15-4 run with, like, a minute 14 to go. And back, Kenny Wizards. We were down eight. We were 14 to go. A minute 14 to go. Be like, oh, this game's over. I see fans leaving the building. But back came the Wiz. I think, uh, I think uh, Howell Neto hit a layup. Then he stole the ball. And then he got a layup. And then I think Kuzma hit two free throws to cut to one. Like, just qu- so quick. With like 40 seconds left on the clock. And then he forced us to stop. And KCP had an easy layup. But I got to talk about Jontae Murray. Like, he had a good look at basketball, but I said, why you shoot the ball so early? I said, when you tie the ball game, just wind the clock down. Either if you make it, that's great. If you miss it, you know what? We're going overtime, and which we did. We, we had time to uh, shoot it. It was like 0.4, 0.5 on the clock, but we went to overtime. No overtime. It was the same thing, back and forth, back and forth. And I think how Neto had a, like a, t- a, a, a tough running shot to go up by one, like, like less than a minute ago. And then he got a huge block at the end. And then the all-star, John T. Murray. Here's a clutch shot. And who who was it that I sent? Uh, who sent a d- double time? It was a, who was it? Let me see. It, oh, it was Howell Neto. And then once again, John T. Murray airballed a, a pension game, game and shot. And I'm like, once again, you shot the ball too early. I, I said, one, when a tie ball game, Wind the clock down, and, and we'll see what happens. And then Kispert, he had a good look at the basket. A good look at the basket. I, I'm like, oh, she's going in. But one day, Kispert, you're going to make one day. You're going to make one shot one day. You will hit a game-winning shot for us soon. Hopefully this year, next year, whatever. But in double time, I think uh, who, I think, uh Gaffer hit the hit an and one. And I was like, okay, hopefully we get, get us some momentum. But it didn't. And the first eight just keep on coming. I got to be honest. That play where Yaku Perdo hit, 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 hit an easy layup. Hit, hit like an easy layup with a, 
with like a less than 30 seconds to go. That was a charge. That was a moving pair. He, I'm like, they refs, y'all missed that. That was a charge. And they put, they put about five with the 26 seconds to go. When, and then and how hit a three to, to cut it to two. And pretty much that was it. Murray hit two clutch free throws. Shane cut the one. And you know what? That was it. We lost in heartbreaking fashion. But they like the fight they put they put in, in that game. Like they they didn't quit, especially. So, let's go to the stats here. Kuzma, tied season high, thirty six points, thirty six points, eight rebounds, seven assists. Like he tied, he was thirteen twenty seven from the field, three five from three. KCP has big game of the year. I think he had twenty four points. 14 from three, 7 14 from the, from the field. How Neto had a good game, 22 points, 9 and 15 sh- sh- shooting, 4 and 7, 9 assists. And Go Go Gaffer has 17 points, 8 and 9, 6 boards, and a block. And Danny, he had a huge game. He had, he, well, not huge, but he had a nice game, 14 points and 9 rebounds. But I think we should have saw more, a little more reaction more. Because I knew he, 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 that game, he played like. 19, 20 minutes. We need more from Rui. Playing. We should be at least 25 to 30 minutes, not to 19. I know he had the game. He had eight points, two and like and, and one rebound. We need more minutes for Rui Hachimura. That's all I'm. That's all I'm saying. As for the Spurs, that kid Murray, that kid is special. Triple double machine. 31 points, 13 boards, 14 assists. He was Russell Westbrook out there. And Kelvin Johnson, and he had that season high thing. He had thirty two points, ten twenty shooting, five and nine from three. And how could he let Yaka Pertle score twenty points on us? Yaka freaking Pertle had twenty on us, twenty eight. And Lonnie Walker, who with, with his fans, I never remember that some people with one in the draft. He had twenty three points off the bench, nine seventeen shooting, two five and three. But let's go to the number these numbers here, team team wise. Fielding was even, e- even. Both teams shot 54%. We were kind of even on shot attempts and makes. We shot bad from three. We were 16 of 30 from, from three. That's 42%, which is pretty good. Our three-point defense is good. We were nine. We held them to nine twenty-nine from three, but we gave up too many easy points in the paint and free throws, especially free throws. We gave up 43 free throw attempts. They were 34 of 43, which is. Good. That's seventy nine percent. I'll I'll take that. But both teams shot seventy nine percent. We were we were nineteen twenty four. But they got more foul times, and that that pretty much won the game for for them. And the boards as well. They were plus eleven. There it was 50, 50 to thirty nine on the boards. Sixteen of them were offensive, so we gave up too many section opportunities. And the turnovers, it was almost even. But Spurs had more. They had seventeen of them. We had fifty. So I, like I said, we've been at Spurs. If you make mistakes, they will make you pay. So it was a good fight, was it? But let's go to th- this Cavalier game that was was pretty weird. We lost to the Cavs, ninety two eighty six. So one game was high scoring. Next night it was a low scoring game. It was a defensive minded game, and. I, and I, I gotta be honest, I, I'm like, we, we responded r- pretty well early on. I'm like, I thought they're gonna be so tired after playing a double overtime game. Cause normally when we play double time, we play in a back to back game, you pretty much have nothing, no legs, especially the starters who play a lot of minutes. I said, the bench gotta be ready. But come this Cavs game, I just realized they had, yeah, Cavs had no Garland, no Sexton who out for season, no Rondo. No Lever, who they got on, on the on the NBA trade de- de- deadline, and I'm like, we have a solid shot to to win this game, but it was a defensive my b- b- battle. On a, come on, I'm like, this is the Wizards we saw from the very be- beginning of the season. But but our defense did a, did a pretty good job. I think we held them to thirty percent shooting, but one thing that hurt us, like we're gonna get to that moment, was the turnovers. Uh, we had six of them. And there were a couple times in the game where we had like a nine point lead, eight point lead, whatever. We had chances to extend it to double digits, but once again, what killed us? The turnovers killed us. Same thing happened in the third quarter when like, the turnovers happened. 
for who kept us in the game, like always. When in doubt, Clutch Coos comes through, as always. Like, he was hitting them threes. I'm like, I'm like, he was hitting them dirt fadeaway shots, like mid range, and wild threes. I'm like, this is the Kuzma that, you know, we seen all year long. He had career high in three. We're going to talk about it in a moment. But let's talk about in the fourth quarter where the downfall was. We were up nine with a, like, uh, I think it was five, six minutes ago, whatever, in the, in the fourth quarter. I'm like, we might have to close it out. But the whole game, we went ice cold. We couldn't hit a shot. We were turning over. We were getting the Cavaliers two minutes, six shot opportunities. And they, and they converted. And they end the game on a 17-2 to two run. The only shot, the two points, was Kyle Kuzma. So, and I'm, at the end, then, why did Ish Smith f- shoot a three? I think, I'm like, why? You rushed it. Like, why did you took a three? You're not a three-point shooter. Shoot the hell of the ball, whatever, and, and just move it. You know what I'm saying? And find either Kyle Kuzma or, or who, who's been the, the hot hand. Because past the time, every time he's hot, teams find what team they, they do drive Kyle Kuzma. You know that? Every time he had the hot hand, they find a way to stop him. All right, so. It is what it is. So, let's get to these numbers here. Kuzma did again. 34 points. 13 and 22 shooting. 8 of 11 three. That's a career high in threes. 8 threes. Going with 13 rebounds. Gaffer was solid. 14 points. 7 shooting. 7 rebounds. Rui had 10 points. And he played 22 minutes, but... He, he's get better on the boards to me because he had one rebound the last two games. So he needs to be aggressive on the boards more often. And, but he did bet 20, 20 minutes. That's what I like. We need to see more minutes from Rui Hachimura. As for the cast, player of the game was Laurie, was Laurie Marketing. I know Allen had a nice game in Mobley, but Marketing was the player of the game. He had 20 points, 6 and 9 from 3. And Jared Allen, he had 18 points, 4 re- rebounds. And Mobley had 14 and 11. Osmond had a solid on the bench, 19 points. But for t- let's go to the team stats here. We shot 40%. The Cavaliers, 30%. And we still lost. And here's the key thing why we lost. We didn't go to the free throw line much. We were 5 of 6 from the foul line. While the Cavaliers were 20 of 24. Another thing we lost was... The turnovers. We turned over 18 damn times. So, we got tw- 22 games left to play. And to me, it is not over, Wiz fan. It's not over yet. I know some of y'all fans are worried to, where is it? Let's, let's lose on purpose. Let's, let's lose. And like, we can't do that. We got to fight to the very end. When I think we're at two, like two nap games, two games back behind the, uh, for the Hawks and Hornets for that, for that, for that playing spot. And we get the Hawks coming soon. It's now over yet. But let's let's talk about Kyle Kuzma for a second. Because Kyle Kuzma has been a gem for this team. He's been everything what we need what we need for a long time. We can have this guy who flourished since Kron and Antoine came to Wizards. And know what they got in common? Both of them, when they came here, they become stars. And Kuzma has shot to become an all-star for this team. Potentially... Next year, possibly, but this kid is on ball. And last two games, he's averaging thirty-five points a game. These two games, before, after the break, so keep balling, Kuzma. Keep on balling and leading. Now there were some news on the weekend. We signed a former face for the, for the Wizards. Remember his name, Thomas Sanaransky. I'm like, we brought back Sato, and we played it, played him on Friday. He was on the Spurs. He played, played a little bit on Friday. I'm like, did y'all leave, left him in D.C. or something? And now he's back, and there's the point. And we we definitely needed some point guard help, and he and he's gonna help, help help us a lot because he played this team before. Like he's not a scorer, and we and we definitely need passing because Ish Smith and Neto are not just. They're not passers. You know what I mean? But Sato is a better passer. He's an all-around player. He can rebound. 
pass, but he can, he can't shoot. But he and and know how to finish. So he's he, he's gonna make a uh, Kuzma job easy. Gaffer, uh, Danny Adia, Corey Kisper, you name him. He's gonna give everyone the ball. Just like uh back like in twenty uh eighteen when when John Wall would miss miss some time. Remember, everybody eats, and he he, he was dishing that dishing that rock, and not turn the ball over, which we shortly needed. So, but people are testing that. Shadow's no savior. Well, you never know. He 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 may play next game. We play uh we play next Detroit. So, you never know what can happen. If he plays tomorrow, hopefully he can steal some minutes from, from somebody. I think uh somebody's gonna get benched. Either Ish. Or Neto's gonna get benched for for for, for Thomas before Zing. Um, we don't know when Porzingis come back, but here's the bench right now. I think the bench gonna be uh, Ish, Sato, uh, Denny, Rui, and TB. So Thomas gonna be the, the backup shooting guard for, 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 at at the moment. But when Porzingis come back, the rotation gonna be very very different. Hopefully the bench Thomas is fine because this man is goofy as hell. I gotta tell you that this guy gotta be benched. Once Porzingis returns, event hopefully soon, and has to go because we definitely need Porzingis on the court. Now, and before we head out, I'm gonna look at the the schedule because remember last last season, I think we I think we were in April last. We got like um, almost a month left the season. Season, remember we were in April. Everybody were like, oh, let's tank. Here we go. We're going to tank. Remember last year, April, last April when everyone tank. When we lost like what four games month of April, and we finished strong going to playoffs. So it it, it happened again. We could, we could have a good month of Marco. We had a bad three three months of the last three months. We had a bad December, bad January, and a bad February. So we never know. This month could be the month. We have we haven't had we haven't had a good month since the beginning of the year. So look look at the schedule. I'm, I'm gonna look at this the game we got. We got Detroit Tuesday. We got the Hawks. Which I mean, Wiz fans, I'm there for that game. I'll be there. We got Indiana on Sunday, and here's the here's the the gauntlet of the schedule. This is the is is where it's challenging. We go on a four game road trip. We're going to L A. The Clippers, then the Lakers. Wait, I can't wait for that game. Uh, Portland, Golden State. Then we got Denver at home. The Knicks, the Lakers, the return of Russell Westbrook, the Rockets, the Bucks, the Pistons, the Warriors, the Bulls, and the Magic. So it's a it's a whatever schedule, but if we can lose, I say like last year we lost like four games month of April last year when we on our win streak. If we can lose less than five, I say less than five games, less than five five or less, we have a shot. So all I got it has is, but that road trip is our season. If we if we if we win one game out of three, out of nine, out of three out of four on this road trip, it's done. But beat Detroit tomorrow. If you don't beat Detroit tomorrow, then there's no hope. Just beat Detroit, and we'll be fine. So just take it one game at a time, because it is not over yet. So that's it for now. Thank y'all for watching. Now the other deal, follow me on Twitter, at Ken Mingo, same Instagram. My Wiz page on Twitter, at Nation. Instagram, Nation underscore Wiz. Thank y'all. Good night. Peace.